Hi everyone, welcome back to MX Bikes. So today we got something sick. We are on actually the Honda 50 uh, Z50. This thing is going to be going head to head against the KTM 50. So we are going to be just spinning some laps here on this legendary pit bike track called the Mosh Pit here today. And we're going to see how each 50 handles both the track. We're going to be seeing just how they feel on the track in general. And yeah, I figured why not bring them both on here and test them out. But oh god bro first impressions here hold on here so this is actually this honda z50 skin goes on one of the pit bikes it's like a skin um but it's the closest thing we have to a honda 50 in mx bikes so i figured we might as well get on the two-stroke pit bike because it's faster than the four-stroke pit bike by a lot like unrealistically fast but it's good though because the ktm 50 if you change the gearing on it that thing absolutely freaking barks so so i figured that would be a fair thing to do here and uh yeah let's go ahead and just hop right into this today bro so some oh my god this thing rips so let's see how we do through the whoops here this thing obviously handles great through the whoops just put her in second and rip through there turns very very good as well here so you guys can see around that holy hell bro table on off there we go all right let's try to put in a lap without too many crashes here and see what we can run on this we'll do a, we'll ride this for a little bit here and then we'll hop on the ktm 50 bro and i'm gonna be honest you guys you guys I don't know which one's better, so I'm very excited to find out myself today. So stay tuned to see which pit bike, or not pit bike, sorry, to see which 50 is really better. So we could probably send that all the way over this. I've done it before, but I'm just playing it safe right now. No, I did not mean to do that. I accidentally checked up a little bit too much for that triple there. Dang it, bro. Okay, that's all right. We'll get that next lap for sure. Um, but I will say it does take a second to get used to riding these old little pitters again because... I am not exactly used to riding these pitters, but they feel so different than all the other bikes. So we'll get used to it here. So give, give us a second here. All right, so we just started another lap. Keep her in second through here, but nice. Land over that table, third. Okay, I could send this, bro, but I'm going to play it safe. Playing it safe, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, that's not the best line. Okay, get the triple. Low sketch. Oh, double single. That is so meeks. We'll try to get the triple next lap for sure. Okay, through the whoops. I'm just trying to get like a baseline lap, even though we did have a pretty big mistake right there, missing the second triple. I don't even know if we're going to be able to hit the triple triple on the KTM, so we will see. That was a, um, a 38.7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here uh, by the finish line. I'm going to set a marker down uh, so we can start throwing down some laps. I just want to do one decent lap. I'm not going to do like a burner. I'm just going to do one with... Getting all the lines uh, easy, bruh, and not really, like, making a any big mistakes. Like that. Rip. Nice. I just cased the finish line, bruh. That's a great way to start off a lot, but we're going to finish it out here. Okay, so cut inside here. I keep forgetting how sharp these bikes can really turn, bruh. It's insane. Should we send it? Let's just try it. Screw it. Send them. Oh, no, bruh. Oh, no. We're not doing that. It's so much quicker but it's so much more sketchy at the freaking same time dude all right let's try to run one here bro just want to be able to get all the lines without dying here see if we can do it here i wonder if third through here is better it definitely feels quicker but it sets me up a little bit more sketchy for that table right there as i uh, you can tell i fell behind a lot right there that's right we'll make it over the table maybe we'll catch back up on this triple bro come on no so the only thing I will say right now that I do prefer on the KTM 50 compared to this is the handling is not my favorite on this bike, bro. It feels really freaking weird. Um, so obviously, I feel like I like the KTM 50's handling a lot more, I must say. But power-wise, I don't know, dude. This thing freaking rips, bro. Look, we just sent that. All right, triple. Triple. No, 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 no. Oh, dude, we died, and dang it, dude. Well, you know, I want to get one freaking lap, bro, without dying too many times. I just want to be able to make it over that triple-triple. I just need to get the landing off the first triple good. Bro, really, just cased my life out. Grab third through here, bro. Just keep her pinned. Okay, we're not pinned, you know. That almost didn't end well. Over the table. There we go, bro. Grab fourth. Don't want to grab fifth because I'll overjump by freaking a mile as I proceed to case. Let's go inside here. Triple. Triple. Don't land off track. What the hell, bruh? All right, we got to feel for this uh, good old freaking Honda 50 here. It, it feels... It's all right, you know. I kind of like the way the KTM feels, but I feel like this thing is a, a lot faster. But 
Yeah, we're gonna uh, finish out this lap or just go down, whichever one happens first, and then we'll go from there and see and hop on the KTM 50. See, I'm overshooting the first triple and then I mess up the second one, but yeah, we're gonna hop on the KTM 50 now. All right, so we have got in now. Well, I thought we were, yeah, okay, bro. So let's go ahead and put our gearing to uh, what we usually run here on it. Oh, it's already on it, okay, sweet. Oh yeah, I've already played it on this track, that's right. But I don't remember, in fact. But yeah, let's see what we got here, bruh, and see how this thing does here compared to the Honda 50 here. Can we make the triple in? Okay. Oh, wow, okay. See, the handling on this bike is so much more stable. It just feels so much better, so much more stable. But through the whoops, it is a lot slower. Okay, interesting. It is all one gear. The Honda was not, but uh, this one is here. So let's see what we can do here, bro. It's just so much more stable in the corners. The Honda uh, 50, well, since I guess since it's on the pit bike, is really, really twitchy. Like, it is twitchy, dude. So it's kind of nice to be able to have something that's a lot more rideable now here. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do on this thing, man. And it freaking rips, bro. Holy, actually, dude, this thing might be quicker. It's freaking quick, dude. Hold on here. Oh, no, we went down. That is so unfortunate. So what I'm curious to see, bro, is if we can get a good run through these whoops or not. Because the Honda Pitter does rip really good through the whoops. It does seem a bit harder to hit the whoops as fast as we were on the other uh, Pitter slash Honda 50. But uh, the corners and everything else is miles easier, bro. I mean, miles easier. All right, let's see if we can just rip for a lap here. Try to hit most of the lines here. It's a little slower coming out of corners, but... Uh, you know, we'll get that down, bro. Just give it a little bit of clutch. Because for some reason, if you clutch the hell out of this bike, it starts moving quick. So, bro, like, look at the power on this beast. Oh, my. We made it on that. That's insane. Okay. Triple. No, we came up a little bit short. I freaking... Okay. So, the main difference here. This KTM 50 has a lot more top end than the Honda 50. The Honda 50 is more like all bottom end power. But it has the torque. Yeah, let's try to do another lap here. So, I feel like these bikes really aren't far off of each other. I really don't think. So, we might have to get Johnny on here and do like a straight rhythm battle or game of bike or something. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. I feel like it'd be sick because these bikes don't feel very far off each other. I feel like it'd be a fair race to whichever bike. I don't know. I feel like it'd be sick. All right, triple. Triple. Perfect, bro. Now he's got to make it to the loop somewhat okay. Dang, I did not come into those very good at all. A little unfortunate. Around the outside. Over that little table. Around the outside again. Table on. Off. Inside. And up over the double. Oh, bro, I'm dead. But, dude. All in all, I must say. So, if I had to wrap up both these bikes here. The KTM 50 has much more better handling, I would say, by far. Um, a lot more stability. Um, but it has it bogs a lot more than the Honda, I should say. The Honda has way worse handling, in my opinion. Um, but it has way more bottom end power. Way probably a bit, a decent chunk of power in general. More like especially through these whoops, you can hit these so much quicker because you got so much torque on the Honda compared to the KTM, bro. But um, besides that, man, they're really not super far off. Kind of depends. Like I don't know what the top speed on the Honda is compared to the KTM 50. But we just might have to see with the straight rhythm battle or game of bike. Let me know, like I said, if you guys like to see that. But I feel like that would be freaking sick. Because these bikes, like I said, don't seem super far off. But, yeah, man, they feel freaking sick. I do feel like, though, on this pit bike track, I feel like this KTM 50 would be a little bit easier. Maybe not necessarily. You could probably ride the Honda 50 faster because it is more torquey out of these corners compared to the KTM 50. But what I mean by I feel like the KTM 50 would be better to ride in a race sense compared to the Honda 50 just for the fact that it's much more stable and predictable to ride on here because that freaking Honda 50 can be a little sketch. <laughs> But, yeah, man. Let's see if we can run another lap here real quick. Oh, shoot. That was not good, bro. Let's see if we can run another decent lap here. See what we can do on this Honda 50, man. All right. So, if we go around the outside. So, if we double over the finish line, we'll tap that around the outside through here, bro. Here we go. Yeah, as you guys can hear right there, it's definitely a bit more boggy than the Honda. Dang, dude. I did not mean to do that. Can we? Yeah, we can reset here. But yeah, so that's really the only disadvantage of this thing. But yeah, all in all, these these are two very similar bikes. I would love to see you go head to head. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. And I think that's going to be a wrap on today's video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy me coming in here and checking out both the 50s here. And uh, oh, no, we go outside. Triple. Here we go. Oh, no. On one of these legendary tracks in MX Bikes. One of the best pit bike tracks in MX Bikes. And it's such a freaking blast. But uh, 
yeah. You guys, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, drop likes. That'd be very much appreciated. As it does help the channel out greatly. Even if you just watched for a second, I do appreciate it. And if you stayed all the way to the end, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support. See you guys in the next video, boys. But I don't want to end the video out yet because I'm kind of ripping on a decent lap. So let's see how long we can run this for. Wow. Okay, nice.